Hey fit friends. So today I'm going to show you a few tools that I use to help relieve my sore muscles. I am freezing to death. <laughs> so hey, my name is Mary. I'm a health and fitness coach and I've been running for about 20 years now. Um, I love it. I don't know why. I'm weird, <laughs> but I just love uh, the way that it clears my mind and the energy that it gives me after I do it. So I am I run about three times a week and then um, the other days, you know, I'm always strength training to make sure that I have a strong core to prevent injuries. But anyways, I just got done running a uh, 15 miles and it was completely miserable. Um, <laughs> there was not one moment in the entire run where I wasn't hoping that when I turned the corner, I would be at my house. Um, it was rough. Needless to say, I, my legs are locking up and I need to stretch them out and get that fascia tissue really loosened up, um, loosen my muscles up, put some superfoods in my body and get going again so I can make it through the day. So I wanted to show you some of the, my tips that I use to um, to relieve my sore muscles and you know this the fascia tissue is the is the thin connective tissue that wraps your muscle fibers and really people neglect that a lot I know there's been a lot of research on this lately and um, there's some massage therapists coming out that are just working on the fascia tissue because when when it's dense and when it's unhealthy it binds in the muscles and it really limits the movement so we got to get that um, really smooth and slippery so my foam roller this thing is the bomb.com so I uh, you know I'm just gonna show you like I love doing um, some hamstring work on it just to get it really rolling out and I like doing it with one leg to really put a lot of pressure on my hamstring. Oh my gosh, it feels good. <laughs> so I love doing my hamstrings. You also can do your quads and your IT bands. Oh, that really hurts. So the foam roller is really good. I'm looking for my stick. Oh yeah, so if you're sitting at a desk you can use this awesome stick. This is great for my um, my calves. And then I just roll it up against my calves. So if you're sitting at your desk all day, I just keep it at my desk. <laughs> and then this actually feels really good. And then I just roll it up and down my calf muscles to relieve the tension of my calves. And then this band, see it's it's one long big loop. Let me see if I, I might have to move this a little bit. But um, if you wrap it around the top of your foot, it's called the church, church wrap, top of your foot in the back. And then, Just give it a good bit, ow, <laughs> lots of tension. And I would say do 10 stretches, 10 movements up and down, 10 times. My brain's not working, my 15 miles really got me going. And then hold it for 10 seconds. And then you can cross it over, wrap it behind your neck in the back. And this really helps to stretch out your glutes. Again, 10 times, and at the end, hold it. Look, I can't even straighten my leg. <laughs> so tight. And then hold it. And then you can also wrap it around the back of your head again and stretch it. <sighs> my legs are so tight right now, I kind of want to cry a little bit. And then just bend your knee in and out, put tension on the band, and hold it for 10 seconds after you bend your knee 10 times. You'll feel it in your 
inner and outer thigh. All right. So I don't know what, what kind of tools. Let me know what kind of tools you guys use to um, stretch out your muscles and help your fascia. But I'm freezing to death. So this is another great tool that I like to use, especially look at my lips are purple. Um, but I, especially like after these long runs, I like to sit in the uh, Epsom salt baths. The magnesium is great for sore muscles. And then I found this one because I'm really into the pink salt, the Himalayan salt. So I find this one on Thrive Market and it's a Himalayan pink bath salt. So I'm totally going to use this to help my muscles to get through the day today. And then I'm, and of course I'm down in my superfood shake because it's all about nutrition as well. So you got to take care of yourself. But comment below, let me know what tools you guys use to um, help stretch out your muscles, get get your fascia work. I also go and see, one more point, I also go and see this, um, I call my witch shockers, witch doctors, but it's a technique that they use it's called dry needling and they stick this little, I mean sorry, long needle. It's kind of like acupuncture. They put it in your muscle and um, it goes really deep down far into your muscle and they wiggle it around a little bit and it relieves the test tension of the um, muscle. So check it out. There might be someone in your area that does something like that for you. But anyways, guys, check it out. Thanks for plugging in. I appreciate you joining my live video. And if you're looking for recommendations on some fitness or health um, activities in 2017, let me know and I will help you out and make some recommendations for you. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.